Hello, hello everybody. Welcome to the channel. My name is Lindsay and this is Life with Lindsay. Today we have a whipping chat for you. If you are new here, hi, welcome. My name is Lindsay. I do mainly diamond painting and some other crafting related content and I would love for you to like, subscribe, hit the bell, hop aboard the Hot Mess Express. Let's all be friends. If you've been here before, hi, welcome. Um, So what's a whipping chat, you may ask, or maybe you already know. A whip is WIP. It stands for work in progress. I will pull out my current whip, which is my Sparkle Queen's Creations. I will link the unboxing for this one up in the eye. You can pull out whatever it is that you are working on and work alongside with me. It can be a household project. It can be a craft, another craft project. It can be while you are doing household chores, while you are driving, while you are working, while you're... Uh, pretending to work whatever it is that you want to be doing there is no right way or wrong way to whip and chat um so yeah i hope that you guys will be working on something i would say fun and exciting but like let's face it if you're doing household stuff that's not fun and exciting are you one of those people that enjoys household chores i do not not at all not remotely not a little bit no i don't um don't mind me, there's some static in here, and I just, anyway, um, which tray is this? This is one of my Firefly trays. This is the Switch Mini Max. Um, this is what I lovingly refer to as, like, my 310 tray, which is, you know, if you're working on one of those Hannah's or Mandy Manzano kits that has tons and tons of, of black drills, but in this case, my background color is this, the bacon, which is nine... 9.15. Um, so I just keep that in the big tray and then I put the lid back on. <laughs> and that is how I've been doing this. I am hoping that I don't have the uh, camera too low. Um, anyway, if you guys have been here um, for any length of time, hi. You already know what to expect from me if you're new here. This is this is basically where I just ramble for an hour about what I what I did, um, how I spent my previous week, and I want to say how I did not spend my previous week was diamond painting. <laughs> um, for whatever reason, I just didn't get up very much, and so when I came to sit down to record, my recording phone was dead. My tablet was at five percent. Um, so I couldn't get a whole lot of anything accomplished. So I'm hoping that I have enough battery power to keep the flash running on this. Um, I am just getting this little bit of border here on this color. Because this is my cover for the light pad. The piece that goes on the top here, if you guys can see it in the corner, um, is long gone. So if I, my hand... If my hand rests on the edge here, I'm showing you guys stuff that's out of frame. Don't mind me. Um, so if it rests here, it like stabs me in the side of my hand. But once I get that down, I can cover it back up. So I'm just trying to get it in a good position. Also, I want to say at some point, um, I did not write down how long I worked on one of the days I worked. So that'll be fun when I do my post review. I'll be like, it was an estimated X amount of hours. But anyway, I am, I don't have much left of this canvas. I should have had this canvas completed already um just due to the size of it it's not very big at all but again i haven't really been working i yeah so anyway now that i've rambled on about absolutely nothing meaningful i hope that you guys are all well if you guys we're here for my previous whip and chat i want to thank you all i got a lot of love and support on that video um not that I don't get love and support typically, but that particular video, I was having a really difficult week. I put out a PSA, um, and I just feel like the support was, like, flooding in. So, um, if you guys left a comment, um, I will be getting back to everybody's. I've, again, I've been, life has been so far behind, um... But yeah, I hope that you guys all had a wonderful week. If you are watching this in present time, um, I will be discussing the week of Valentine's Day. But even more exciting than that, um, you guys, if you guys watch Crafting with Shay, uh, Kel from Chris and Kel and myself will be guests 
on Sunday. Uh, if you guys don't know Shay, you should go check her out. I'll leave her information down below. Um, but I'm really excited. She asked me if I wanted to be one of her guests, and I said, sure, I'd love to. And so, um, yeah, thanks, Shay, for thinking of me. But anyway, I hope that you guys are well. Like I said, it's just been, it's always chaos. Um, it's one thing or it's another thing. And I just feel like, um, I feel like whenever things start to go good, then immediately I'm drowning right afterwards. So, um, and if you guys hear some noise in the background, the data monster's here. Say hi, data monster. Hello. Um, so if you guys just heard like a real farty sound, which I don't know if you did or not, that was paint. Um, which I will say, my daughter likes to toot toot, and she is still at that phase where she thinks it's funny, and I don't know at what age, like, girls change from, like, farts are funny to that's so gross, because I think that's gonna make her really sad when her friends are like, ew, gross, which I don't know, that maybe that's already happening, because tonight specifically... Everything that my husband and I said was, ew, that's so gross. Or my husband got something to eat and she's like, ew, gross. Why are you eating that? And it was, it was literally soup. You guys, it was, it was soup. And it wasn't like a weird soup. It wasn't a soup that looked weird or smelled weird. Like it was like a normal soup. And I'm like, can we please stop with the ew, that's so weird. Especially when it's not weird. I mean, I guess weird is subjective, but. Chicken corn or crab and corn. Yeah, there's something else she said ooh weird about too, and I was like, are you serious, kid? Um, but anyway, now that I've rambled, hi, hello. <laughs> so last week, um, we've had some interesting weather here. Um, last week we stayed home on Sunday and did a whole lot of nothing, um, which is fine. I always need those kinds of days. Um, and it's funny, I said to my daughter, like, ooh, you can help mommy meal plan for next week. I have this crock pot cookbook. And the one week, Briar and I went through, like, section by section. Okay, what do we want to look at? And she picked out, like, three or four meals that week. You guys, she knocked it out of the park. Like, everything she picked was delicious. And she was supposed to help me again and just... Life happened, and I forgot, and I was like, well, say lovey, and what? Say lovey. Oh. Lovey. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Now I'm thrown off, Now I don't know what I was trying to say. What? I was just participating. I know, but now I don't know what I was saying. Um, so, I don't remember if we did anything, because now I have 100% lost my train of thought. Uh, the next day, we had school. And I think I talked about this. No, we weren't supposed to have a day off. Maybe we were. I don't know. Um, so when I was a kid growing up in the 80s, we had a certain amount of snow days built into the school year. And I was talking to somebody locally about this. And they said, well, they do that here too. No, no. No, no. What they do is they go, you guys have... Three potential makeup days. And those potential makeup days are already on days that you guys would be scheduled off. Meaning, if you are scheduled off on Tuesday the 22nd. I'm just making up names and numbers here. Um, for uh, in-service day or whatever. And it says snow makeup day on the calendar. If you have the first snow day, that's when you would make it up. Okay, great. That's not the same thing as building it in. Because for us... The first and the last day of our spring break have now been taken away and given to the kids as snow makeup days. But, I, like many people, we made plans for our spring break that we weren't accounting for having to make up snow days. Um, and it's really annoying because when I was a kid, they were built in. And when I say that, I mean they had a cushion of a couple days into your school year and... Um, then if you went past those few built-in days, then they talked about adding it on at the end of the school year. Well, fun fact, we had a snow day this week, and I learned if the school doesn't have a snow day, but they have a two-hour delay, that doesn't count towards requiring the kids to make it up. And I'm like, cool. So then they said, well, we don't have any more snow days, so we're going to do 
I don't even remember what the, do you remember the phrase they used? And I was like, what does that even mean? I still have no idea what it means. And I'm, I'm like, <laughs> could we just, could we just have like those days back and then, you know, like next year, just send the kids to school for three extra days or whatever it is. And then you can always say, we don't have any snow days. Like, I don't know. I know that no matter what they do, people are going to complain because they're going to be like, my kid's in school for three additional days. This is ridiculous. But you know what's ridiculous? Having to take away days off that you may have already planned for. Because who who really, in the beginning of the school year, honestly, looks at the calendar and goes, oh, these are the days off, but I'm not going to make plans on these three days because there are potential snow makeup days in August. You know, like, no, nobody's looking at that and just assuming that maybe one day those will be snow makeup days. I'm going on a tangent because we had a snow day this week. But anyway, Monday... We had school, went to the market, um, my kiddo had skating. When you, I When you went to school, did you start before or after Labor Day? After. I started so in September. Day. And that's what I don't understand. Somehow we had snow makeup days built in. Right. And, and we, we went to school longer. Later. Now, for all I know, our breaks were shorter than what these kids get. I have no idea. But And we got done in June. I don't know. Did you guys get done in June or May? Yeah, it was like beginning of June. Yeah. I don't know. That's what I'm confused by. I don't know. And, like, don't get me wrong. Like, I understand, like, teachers are unappreciated and all these things but this is like comes from above this is not the teacher making that decision but also my kid's a half day kid so when they have a two hour delay my kid goes to school for literally an hour what is it, an hour and 10 minutes it's ridiculous like by the time i drop her off i have to basically turn back around because there's no i can't get anything done um and we've had three days this school year already where they had early dismissal days that were built in. And they decided that the kids who were the PM kindergarten kids didn't have to come in those days. So I'm just waiting for when the school tries to tell me that like, oh, my kid needs to be there for those makeup days. And I go, yeah, so she's going to use those three days that the, the PM kids got off. Because how did they get less school days than us and they don't have to make those up? It's ridiculous to me. But also... If it's half day or it's early dismissal, like, can it just be a half day or early dismissal? Like, it doesn't have to be this weird. I've also talked about this on my channel before, that somehow when we have early dismissal, our half day kids are there longer than they are on a regular day. I, it, drives, it drives me crazy, you guys. It drives me crazy. Anyway, the next day was our snow day. Yay! Um... So this was our last, like, built-in snow day of the year, which means if we have another snow day, they... I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? Um, and I know other people, like, their kids have virtual days. Let me tell you. If my kindergartner gets told she has to do a virtual learning day, well, first of all, it's going to be using the tablet that the school provides me because I do not have... Um, like, my kid's not using my cell phone to, to Zoom. Um, we've done this before for therapies during, like, the height of the pandemic. And I said something to, because it was run through the school district, and I said something, I was like, listen, I don't have a device. And they sent us an iPad to use. Um, and I just, virtual learning for kids that little is a nightmare. And I'm sure it works for some people's kids, but my kid can barely, you know, stay focused on things that are tangible that she can touch that she can see you want me to put her behind a screen like no thank you no thank you so i'm just hoping but anyway my kiddo was so excited we had a, a snow day earlier in the school year and i was like i don't know i don't know where any of my kids snow gear went now in defense it hasn't really snowed other than this year in a very long time like we've gotten snow that was like an inch or less but it had been 700 and something days till, since we had had a substantial snow that was over a, over an inch um which is yeah and and you know so like i said it, uh, but not enough for a kid to go out and play and so my daughter was so excited to get ready and go play in the snow and i was like okay here's the thing though we need to find waterproof we need to find our snow pants we need to find waterproof gloves now my daughter used to skate in her snow pants 
So I knew where those were because we had moved on from needing snow pants to going into like real skate pants, um, which for the most part are just fleece lined, like flare leg pants. Um, and I was praying that the pants that we had would be able to fit over the amount of layers I was going to have to put under them, which spoiler alert, I know you're all waiting with bated breath. It worked. <laughs> But then I could not find her waterproof gloves. Now you're probably thinking your kid ice skates. What do you mean you don't have waterproof gloves? So yeah, she used to skate in like waterproof mittens. My kid is really tiny hands and feet. So even though she's in kindergarten, she primarily was skating in mittens for the majority of her time ice skating because it's really hard to find gloves like with fingers for really tiny hands. Okay. But then she moved on and our hands aren't on the ice all the time. Like she wasn't on the, she wasn't falling as much. So she had no need for waterproof gloves. And we just moved to those little like cheapy knit stretch gloves. And so I was like, I've got probably 20 pairs of those gloves, but that does not help me in terms of this is a thick, wet, heavy snow. So I posted on our Facebook group for our neighborhood and uh, one of the other, I was like, does anybody have a pair of gloves that their kiddo has outgrown that we could borrow? And that particular day, I let my husband take the car to work. So I couldn't, um, you know, just drive down to Walmart or whatever. And I wasn't going to do a delivery for, right, especially in the snow, because like, I don't want to be that person that's making somebody drive to us. But I know we've got people with bigger kids in our development that like, maybe they have a pair of gloves that their kid outgrew and they were putting in the to toss or donate pile. Um, unfortunately, nobody had any. So I'm getting her dress and I'm like, I, we're just going to have to figure this out. And I was like, maybe I'll just load her up with a couple pairs of knit gloves and change them out if she gets wet. So she's sitting on the stairs. I'm putting the snow pants on. Mind you, we now have Knee-high socks, a pair of leggings, a pair of sweatpants, a t-shirt, a turtleneck, a sweatshirt. Then I put the snow pants on, and then I put a waterproof jacket on. Um, and as I'm sitting there, I look over and I see the waterproof gloves that my daughter was wearing for ice skating um, on top of a box. And I was like, oh my god, these are sitting over there. And you know what she said to me, you guys? Oh, yeah, Mommy, I knew those were there. I see those every time I use the bathroom down here. So you mean to tell me the entire time that we were freaking out about you not having gloves, that you knew those gloves were there the, the, whole, the whole time? You knew they were there the whole time? <laughs> she, and now, for all I know, she was full of it. <laughs> it is totally plausible. Um, and probably more likely than not, but it just made me giggle because I was like, are you, are you for real right now? Like, I was freaking out because I was like, I can't have you playing in the wet, heavy snow. She did not care. Um, but the best part was, um, we found them. So I put them on, we went outside. She was out there, you guys, for so long. I don't even know how long we were out there. She built a snowman, um... She decided that the snowman was pregnant with eight babies, um, and it really liked dirt, so she dug in the mud, which was super fun, to put mud on the, the belly, or whatever it was, um, and then, have you guys seen the duck snowball makers that have been trending all over Instagram? I purchased one. And you guys are probably thinking, like, a snowball maker, that's not that unusual. You're talking about snow. Correct. But I didn't purchase mine for the snow. Um, I've seen people using them for food where they'll make, like, a duck shape of mashed potatoes or rice or whatever else. And I was so excited. I bought them off of Amazon. And they came and they were super cute. So then I was like, well, this is the perfect day to actually use them as their intended purpose. <laughs> So we made a bunch of duck snowballs. They were super, super cute. I will put a couple photos in um, for you guys here. I'm going to make a note for myself so that I don't forget that I have notes, notes, pictures for you. Um, but she just 
had the time of her life and was so excited. You guys, so excited to be playing out in the snow. And I was really happy that she had a good time. And um, thankfully, she didn't mention anything about sledding, which, like, we don't have a sled. Um, and to be completely honest with you guys, I don't have the energy to go up and down a hill with her over and over and over again. And she is not that kid that I can just be like, yeah, come on back up. Um, so I was really happy that she was completely content with playing in the yard. Uh, and then I finished shoveling the other part of our sidewalk. My husband shoveled before he went to work, but he didn't have a chance to finish it because he had to go to work. And I finished that part, which was nice. Because, you know, nobody wants to be the ones to get the fine, but my neighbor next door, who's a total garbage human being, if you've ever heard about her, um, and she didn't shovel at all. And I was like, cool, 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 cool. Um, but also, our HOA and builder, our, I guess our builder, is responsible for the street corner across from ours. There's no houses there yet, but they are the ones who, I guess, are in charge of it until that happens. And... I had to walk my kid to the bus stop later in the week and the other side had not been shoveled at all and so I'm watching these kids are just trying to climb through these snow banks not realizing that like our side of the street was completely cleared uh, because I'm not a complete asshole. I'm a bit of an asshole but not a complete asshole so I got as much as I could done and then my husband came home and he's like you finished the sidewalk and I was like yeah now if my daughter had not been outside with me, like, playing, I probably would not have been able to. Um, she's not the kind of kid I can just, like, leave unattended for an hour and be like, All right, you hang out. I'll be back. Um, not everybody's kid's the same. <laughs> but... Yeah, so we had a lot of fun, um, and we made the snowballs and the ducks and all of it. She had a great time, and this kid is such a little snow bunny. I would love to take her skiing this year, but I keep saying to myself, it's too late in the season. It's not too late in the season. It's February, um, and, you know, they make snow. There's a reason they make snow. They make snow because we live in an area that doesn't get snow typically, although this was our now third snow day. Um, although one of the snow days that our kids had, it didn't even snow. They canceled school and then we never even got snow. And I was like, cool, 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 cool. Um, sorry, I'm getting a weird glare. Um, I have so many thoughts on this canvas. So I've been trying to keep really good notes for when I do my post review and then, um, after this, I will be doing the Train of Dreams, which I did film an unboxing for, so you guys could see it. But, I don't know, I was hoping to have already started that, but, again, slacking, not really, not really doing what I need to be doing over here. But, um, unrelated to anything I'm talking about, did you guys see the news that this is only going to affect people who have, I guess, similar art taste to me. Um, but the contract between Diamond Art Club and Hannah Lynn will not be renewed. And so anything that's on the site right now is listed as, excuse me, final edition. So uh, if you are somebody who loves Hannah Lynn's artwork, which, yes, yeah, she's still going to be available at other shops. She has a couple over at Diamond Painting Shop. She has some at Oraloa. She has some with Paint with Diamonds. I'm not personally recommending Paint with Diamonds. Um, but it's just sad because there was particularly a couple that when they released, I wasn't able to get them. Like, they sold out super, super fast. And I've been very patiently waiting for the restock that now is never going to come. But in case you guys did not happen to see that or didn't hear that, I'm just passing that along. Um, oy. So, go get your Hannah Lynn's now before they're gone. Um, trying to see. Alright. What's the next color? So, um, I am 
very much distracting myself here. What color did I just grab? Okay, I got this. Lindsay, you've got this. Pay attention. <laughs> oh, um, speaking of content, question for you guys. I know that my channel is crafting. Um, I purchased the... Uh, simply... Oh my god. Simply Gilded? I'm pr That might not be the right name. Um, box for this month. Um, it was an Alice in Wonderland themed box. And I'm not a big stationary person. But I wanted the washi and the pens and um, the stickers and things like that. And so I bought it. Do you guys have any interest in seeing me unbox that here on my channel? If you do or you have no interest at all, can you please let me know in the comments down below? Because I um, I would love to share that with you guys if that's something you're interested in. But if overwhelmingly everybody's like, no, I have no interest in that. I don't want to make a video. I don't want to put the effort in to make the video if nobody's going to watch it. Do you know what I mean? No. Maybe you do. No, I mean. Um, or maybe you don't. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but anyway... Wednesday was Valentine's Day. Wednesday the event ended. Womp womp. I hope you guys had a really awesome time. If you did not participate, don't worry, you guys. We'll do it again next year. At least that's the plan. Um, for me, I still have one more event video, like, for sure coming. I have the last slideshow. Um, I finally got all the images together for that, and then my phone died. You know, also... All sorts of fun stuff has been happening, as I mentioned. I don't know where that drill just came from. Um, anybody else just end up with, like, random drills on their desk because they don't know where to put them? Or is that just me? I know there are people who have, like, very specific places they put their trash. But I have trash from, like, oh, these are junk drills. And that's not necessarily the same pile of, oh, this is a random drill that fell on my canvas and I don't know where its home is. Let me know. Do you guys do you guys just put them all in the same place? Um, I mean, I guess if I was not making post reviews for my videos, they'd probably all be in the same place. But I hope there is not a lot left of this color because it doesn't seem like I have that much in my tray. Um, and I have all of it in my tray. Anyway, um, so yeah, Valentine's Day. So my kiddo had school, um, and she, so on Tuesday, I had plans to go to Target and pick up a couple things to make her Valentine's Day special. Um, my husband and I, like, we haven't done the, like, let's have a romantic dinner thing in a million years because we have a small child and we don't have... You know, we don't have a date night sitter. We don't have a any sitter, um, honestly. And for us, I think we both kind of realized, like, she's, she's really loving Valentine's Day. According to her, it's her favorite holiday. But I think it's her favorite holiday because now it's turned into, like, she gets gifts. <laughs> um, which, can we? Okay. We gave out flip sequin narwhals for her valentine for her class now i just want to say our kids teacher sent out a letter saying absolutely no food products which um 14 of the 18 parents listened to um or maybe it was 13 of the 18 parents listened to. Um, and she said it's because we have children who have food allergies in the class and limitations. And I have no idea if that is 100% referencing my daughter and my daughter alone. If you guys didn't know, we are free of artificial food coloring in our house. Um, again, I did not set out to be like this mom or like any bit crunchy. And yet here I am. Um, but it's out of necessity. That's a different story for a different day. But anyway, I, of course, my kid was bummed when she got a couple things that were food that she wanted and was like, oh, I can't have that. And it's like, well, no, you can't. But also, but anyway, so we gave out these little tiny narwhals. We got them from Oriental Training Company. It was really inexpensive to buy a pack of, I think we had 24. I got two packs of 12 
for the 18 kids in her class plus the two teachers. And the 18 kids includes her. So she ended up with four extra, um, three of which went to ice skating coaches. And the fourth one, she's decided she wants to give to her grandmother. Um, so we're going to have to obviously bring that over at some point. But they were very inexpensive and they came with the card and all we had to do was write her name on it. And if she wanted to write her classmate's name, that's it. Let me tell you, some of these kids brought damn entire, like, bags. Like a gift bag full of stuff for every kid. Um, also, I'm just going to say this, like, universally, as a mother, please don't send slime. I don't want slime. I don't want my kid to have slime. Other parents don't want their kids to have slime. Slime stained. It gets stuck in hair. It gets stuck in carpets. No, I am a hardcore. I will do anything for my child except let her have slime. Um, one of them was like this tiny little container. And I was like, you know what? Maybe we could take that with us to like a restaurant. And I'm hoping that we can do that and just forget it there. Um, but she immediately was like but I want that I was like of course you want that you want that because you can't have that but for the most part I could not believe how over the top some of these valentines were and not done as like a there are definitely people out there who do things like that as a like boastful manner of like look how much we have but it wasn't even like that it was just like here's some gifts for all the kids in the class but they're just over the top. And so now my kid has this expectation of, like, everyone's going to give me presents. <laughs> I was like, well, um, okay. So, needless to say, I told my husband that I thought we should get her flowers. And I don't mean, like, a floral arrangement. I meant, like, supermarket flowers. Which are totally fine. Um, I have no problem with supermarket flowers. I... This color has multiple shades of orange in it. So if you see me pulling some out, that's what that is. Um, it looks pretty good for there. But we... So I went to Target. I was hoping to do this the day before. So I had to do it while she was at school. My daughter loves those... You know those headbands that have the springs on the top of them and then whatever shape attached to it? She wears ones that have bats all the time to school, at home, all the time. So we had gone to Target forever ago, and she really wanted the ones that had the spring-loaded hearts. And I was like, I'm not buying these for you. These are so expensive. Um, but then I realized, like, how much joy that little heart headband would bring to my kid. So I went back to Target while my kid was at school, and I picked up the heart headband. Um, and when I picked her up from school, I had them ready to go and she was so excited she's like oh my god thank you so much mommy blah blah blah, blah. and I was like you're so welcome and I decided to make it as special of a day as I could so I picked her up we had a little lunch date she said she wanted breakfast and I was like oh, I can't think of anywhere that does breakfast other than a diner and then I was like oh first watch if you guys know first watch it's a chain it's like a brunch chain um and they have one in town. And I was like, you know what? Let's do that. That'll be nice. We'll we'll go there. She gets the same thing every time we're there. She gets a granola bowl, as she calls it. But she was so stinking cute, you guys. She sat down and she was like, I would like a granola bowl, please. And can I have a glass of, I think it was apple juice, watered down, please. And can I have some toast with some butter on it, please? And I was like, look at you. She knew exactly what she wanted. And she ordered it completely by herself, which I loved. Um, and I just remember looking over at her and being like, I am the luckiest person in the world. Like, I have the best Valentine ever. And then I texted my husband because he works like, five minutes away from where we were and unfortunately he was going on break as we were finishing up so I wouldn't have been able to catch him like I could have caught him on break but she doesn't want to hang out with daddy on break she wants to hang out with daddy like yeah at his job like doing what he does and not um sitting outside in a gazebo when it's freezing temperatures but we did that and then we picked up my husband for the end of the day and we went to dinner I just went to a little pizza shop that did heart-shaped pizzas for Valentine's Day which she super was excited super excited about um and it's amazing because it's like these little things mean 
absolutely everything to her. Like, the fact that we went and got heart-shaped pizza was just, it, like, blew her mind. She was so excited about it. Um, she is, like, a heart-shaped person. I'm a star-shaped person. Um, if you guys didn't know, I have, like, a couple star tattoos, like that one. Um, I love stars. I love the shapes. I just, I love stars. And she's, she's definitely a heart person. Oh, the birds. You guys, who else collects those target birds? Please let me know. Because she is, our kid is such a bird, a bird person. Like, she loves, loves birds. Loves birds. And she, I picked up the uh, Kingston or Kingly and Queenie, whatever they were. Um, and she's seen them before, but now she's just like, so I can start collecting all of them. And I'm like, I guess we're not going to collect all of them, but they're the $5 birds. They're from the Spritz company. They're super cute. And they're usually themed to whatever holiday or seasonal decor. Um, and she was so excited, so excited. You guys, like you would have thought I actually bought this kid like real birds. Um, but she was very, very excited. But so my husband and her. Last year, they got me the Ninja Turtle um, party bus lounge fly that has, like, functional headlights. Um, and that has become my, pretty much my daily purse. And so this year, they had decided to get something for me. And, you know, he very clearly let her know, like, do not, don't ruin this. Don't say anything. So she didn't. Now, if you guys know anything about lounge flies, they are expensive. And I have a hard time justifying spending that kind of money on myself for essentially a backpack. And there was this very limited edition Cheshire Cat uh, lounge fly that came with the diamond uh, pop. If you guys did not know, my husband... He does custom Funko Pops, so um, we have, like, if you guys ever see me in videos where you actually, like, see my face, there's a whole wall of Pops behind me, um, and so that's what they decided to get me. I actually, at one point, had it in my shopping cart, and I just said to my husband, I was like, I, I, like, I have no problem spending money on myself, but I have a problem spending that level of money on myself for something that's doesn't serve a real purpose like yeah it's a backpack and honestly this one I don't know if I'm gonna use it or if I'm just gonna hang it up because it's gorgeous it's shimmery and it's metallic and it just it's so beautiful and I I love it so so much and it came with the pop and I was um very very excited that pop will go behind me like where I'm sitting so you guys will be able to see that in videos um but I was so excited because that, that was such a, a nice surprise. And I said, you know, like, I didn't want to spend that kind of money on myself. He's like, I know that's why I spent it on you. And it made me feel special and appreciated. And um, I know. But I also know that, like, in the same way you feel it, like, I'm number two to Briar now. Just like you are. And... What? What? Me? Yeah. No yep, everybody is number two to Briar. Except for Briar. Briar's number one to Briar. Yeah. What? <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. I don't know if she actually went or not. Um. Anyway, so that's how we spent our Valentine's Day. It was lovely. It was pretty uneventful, which is fine. Um. <laughs> and um, Briar goes... What did you get daddy for Valentine's Day? And I just looked at her and I go, you. She's like, what? I'm like, y you're daddy's Valentine. She's like, what? I'm like, you're always going to be daddy's Valentine. That's what daddy got for Valentine's Day. <laughs> um, You know, like we would have liked to have been able to go and get a nice dinner. But, you know, such is life, I guess. Um. I pulled this color out. Do I need this color? Maybe. Yeah, I do. There's like three of this color. So I'll put that here. You guys, this is so much color blocking and I love it. Um, I want to say this is my first round 
from Sparkle Queen Creations, um, which is my preferred shape. I'll do a diamond painting in either like either shape. I really don't mind. I just I like the ease of rounds, and I like how quickly they work up for me. But it's not like I wouldn't do a diamond painting because it was in square. And so I got this one in round and I got the other one in square. And I know that this is not my post review. And I'm, uh, if you hear my post review, you'll probably hear me talk about this a little bit. But it is interesting to see how the way they're charted are is so differently. Um, like the rounds, there are no grid lines at all. Uh, but the square has them. And, um, or training wheels or whatever you want to call them. Um, and I'm curious, because I said this is my first of the double side. Or I only did her double sided before. So this is the first of the glue ones. And I'm curious if, um, it's pretty consistent between the round and the squares. It should be, because they're not doing anything different. They're just printing it in a different shape. But I have some opinions and thoughts and whatnot um but anyway so um oh off topic have you guys ever heard of emoji kitchen um i saw a reel on this and i was like what is this you guys if you are trying to just like kill some boredom just go to google and type in emoji kitchen Emoji Kitchen allows you to combine two emojis um, into its own new emoji, which is super, super cute and so much fun. And I spent far more time than I should have playing around with it. And I made like a bat with heart eyes or <laughs> um, the juice box and the little spicy pepper. That one is super cute. Just so much fun. If you guys are looking for... You don't have to download anything. It just goes right to the website. It's a lot of fun. I highly recommend. And the woman was talking about it. And I was like, is this a universally known thing? Because I had never heard of it. Um, and I asked my husband. He's like, I've never heard of this either. Uh, so that was fun. I also wasted a little bit of time with my kiddo. On oh God, now I got the hiccups. Hopefully they're not like loud hiccups. Because those are the worst. You guys, hiccups. Okay, total tangent here. I am one of those people that hiccups are a complete nightmare for me. I, like, they, like, take my breath away. And not in a fun way at all. Like, it is literally, like, I'm, like, gasping for air. <laughs> and I just need them to, like, run its course. I'm just, I don't, I don't like hiccups at all, you guys. Um, if I got really loud there, it's because I was leaning over to grab some colors i'm trying to find this shape which is the first one there we go i was like why can't i find this oh shoot don't open uh-oh nope i'm good i'm good Whew. guys i'm good anyway so thursday thursday my husband had to be at work early he has these shifts every once in a while i know they're not his favorite shifts but i like them because that means that he's home in time to like hang out and not like oh you're home and now we're sitting down eating dinner um so sometimes on those days she takes the bus because we don't want to have to worry about waking her up super super early just so we can take him to work to then have to waste time before going to school um and um like it's not like she's up and there's time to go to the library. Like, the one day, her and I went out to eat breakfast and still had time to kill before um, school started. And I was like, cool, 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 cool. Not my favorite in that sense. But I love just the bus stop is really close to her house. And she loves taking the bus. Um, and she's so excited about taking the bus. Like, as she gets bigger. And I'm like, listen, kiddo. Um, these next couple years here, from first grade through fifth grade, you'll be walking to school. Um, because that's how close we live to the school. And, um, you know, she's all bummed because she wants to take the bus. But because she's a half-day kindergarten kid, they are all kindergartners on the bus. 
there's um so you would think the way our district is set up there are multiple elementary schools they all go to the same school for kindergarten and then they break up for first grade which i don't understand but um so you would potentially think that all those people that are taking the bus from where we are taking the bus to her kindergarten would all be people that she would go to school with next year for first grade. Fingers crossed, we shall see. But it is so funny to me. There's like a handful of kids. It's not that many kids. And every single time, without fail, every single time, they all pile into like a couple seats. So I watch her hop on, and then there are literally three little girls in one seat. Mind you, 99% of the bus is empty because you have these 10 kids that are sitting in like three or four seats. I'm like, what are you doing? They all fight to see who sits with the, the bus aide, the teacher. Um, and as far as I know, my daughter has never sat with her because she's not a regular on the bus. Um, she's just there, you know, maybe like once a month. Um but it's nice, and she gets to ride the bus, and then she rides the bus to school and home from school. And the best is when she gets off the bus, and we talk about her day, and she just, like, holds my hand, and we walk down the street, and she tells me everything about what she did, and, like, who she hung out with, and, and what they learned, and all these things. And my favorite is, I say to her, oh, who did you sit with on the bus ride home? Mind you, she just got off the bus, okay? Just literally got off the bus, and now it's a minute later, we're walking down the street. And every single time, she'll tell me whoever it is, and I'm like, oh, are they still on the bus? And she goes, hmm, I don't know. Well, did they get off the bus before you got off the bus? <laughs> or are they still on the bus now that you've gotten off? Because what I think happens is, I think my kid's bus is the first stop in the afternoon and the last stop in the morning before it goes to where they go to kindergarten. Because she tells me all the time a couple girls from her class are on the bus, but they don't ever get on at the same bus stop as us. But I never notice other kids on the bus um, when she gets on it. So I really have no idea. But anyway, she loves taking the bus. And I love that it's just kindergartners because I don't have to really worry about any kind of bullying situation or anything like that. And the bus aid seems really... Um, well-loved by the kids and really, like, on top of things. Um, we had a situation in which my daughter was being unsafe after she got off the bus one time. And she, like, immediately went to the higher-ups and was like, uh, is this something that I need to be aware of? And I was like, well, I'm so glad somebody finally listening to me. And then we had a meeting at school. And, um, you know, it would have been really nice if the school had listened to me when I had told them that this was a likelihood because then this particular teacher would have been prepared and not completely blindsided like she was um where is this color 943 do 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 there we go i am using oh sorry i'm right up on the camera again i'm using the um harbor freight 54 tray system I think it, I don't remember what it's called officially. I linked it in my last video. But it's basically this container that you buy and you take out all of the dividers and then you can fit in, I think it's 54 of these smaller containers. So like two and a half containers worth um, of the regular Harbor Freights. And I love it for being able to travel with and things like that. I don't love it for being able to see the top colors because it's just kind of far off my desk. Um, and I can't pull it any further down or I don't have a lot of workspace. Um, but this one, also the legend on this diamond painting doesn't have the number. It just has the DMC and the symbol. And I know a lot of people are fine. Like, that's what they, they don't mind. But, like, I like this first column. So I would like to be able, if I'm looking for this symbol, to look on the legend and find number 29. And then I can find the case more easily. That's a personal preference. It's not, you know... A, a, a con it's not a uh something that's going to deter me from purchasing it's just something that that's how i like to diamond paint it makes things easier for me so especially when i can't see those top colors quite as well so anyway um and then thursday my kiddo also had ice skating so my husband was able to come with us he doesn't get to see her skate a lot 
because he works till the time that her lesson starts. So by the time we would be able to pick him up, like she'd already be late. But um, the next day was Friday. He was also off because originally my kiddo was scheduled to be off for a long weekend for President's Day. And um, Friday was one of the, the snow makeup days, but my husband had already requested off. And uh, we dropped her off at school and him and I have been talking for quite some time about getting a membership to Costco or Sam's and he actually went ahead and purchased the membership and then was like, we're going to go to Costco in the morning. And I was like, oh, okay. Now listen, um, send me all your Costco must-haves. But um, dear Costco, why do you not open early? Like, why are you not open grocery store hours why you only open at 10 o'clock uh we did not know that we went and we pulled up and it was um about nine o'clock and we both assumed it would be open and to our surprise it was not open um thankfully there's a target in the same shopping center my husband needed to go to michael's to get some paint for his business stuff so we went to michael's we went over to target and just like wandered around um I bought myself a Squishmallow <laughs> because Target was having a, I think they were 50% off of the Valentine's Day versions of the Squishmallows that were on their shelves. Now listen, I couldn't tell you what made the one I purchased a Valentine's Day, for, for, um, offer, Valentine's Day version, but I bought Brayden the dinosaur, the Triceratops, um, for myself. And he was on sale 50% off. So he was very affordable, um, comparatively speaking. I mean, I know I'm still spending a lot of money on a giant stuffed animal. Um, but I get the appeal of Squishmallows. If you guys don't get the appeal of them, then you should get one and snuggle with it. And maybe then you'll understand. So then we walk into Costco and I'm like, they just opened. How, how is it a madhouse already? And it's funny, I asked somebody, I said, is there a better, like, what's the best time of day to come? And she's like, oh, there isn't. And I was like, oh, all right. Um, so I was very overwhelmed. Super anxious <laughs> kid in a store like that. Of course I was anxious and overwhelmed and all of the emotions. Um, but the first thing we saw when we walked in were the giant Squishmallows. They were the 20 inch, I think they are. And it was a Hello Kitty eating a hamburger. And now listen, I said to my husband, we need this. <laughs> and he goes, no, we don't need this. And I go, well, she needs this. He's like, no, she doesn't. Uh, well, she did. And I made him go back and get it. And I could not believe that it was one of the giant ones. Because I don't understand why some of the giant ones are like 50 plus dollars. And this was half that price, and it was the biggest Squishmallow we've ever purchased. My kid loves Hello Kitty. She also loves hamburgers. And let me tell you, when I picked her up from school, I put the Squishmallow in her car seat. Um, and she said one of the most profound statements ever. She said, if Hello Kitty doesn't have a mouth, then how is she eating a hamburger? <laughs> To which I had no answer because I don't know. <laughs> but this is how a little kid's brain works. And I absolutely love it more than anything because that is for real, like such a little kid idea. But it's true. Like, why are we marketing this animal without a mouth eating food? The other one was eating, drinking a boba. What? And then there was another one um, in, like, plaid and I think a flower print one. Um, but, you guys, she cracks me up. Um, and I haven't really posted, like, a Briarism of the day on my Instagram in a while. Uh, and that one made me giggle. I also was wearing a t-shirt this week that was a skeleton drinking a cup of coffee. And it's, you know, implying that, like, I'm dead before coffee kind of thing. But she's like, Mommy... If that's a skeleton, where does the coffee go? And I was like, um, I don't have the answer for that either, my dear friend. But we 
had Costco. We did our Costco run. We did a small little run just to kind of check it out. And um, we will definitely be going back again. We have to figure out a good time because, again, didn't realize that they don't open until later. And if we wait until our kiddo goes to school, we basically have... 30 to 40 minutes to be able to shop and then check out and then get in the car and go pick her up, uh, which does not give you a whole lot of time to get through Costco. But if there are any um, Costco must haves, please let me know. I am very, very interested. Um, like I said, we picked up a couple things. Um, I also didn't know that you could, that you have to provide your own shopping bag or use one of their cardboard boxes or whatever. So, um, I know for next time, there's a drill stuck to the side of my pen. But, yeah, I have never felt more like a grown-up than I did that day. Like, we've officially made it. We've got our Costco memberships. We are old people enjoying wholesale shopping. And I guess that it is what it is with that, you know? <laughs> um, are you guys... Costco or Sam's Club people. My mom had a card to BJ's forever ago. We used to go to that, but the, there's no BJ's near us. It's Costco or Sam's. Um, but we went Costco. Anyway, um, and then we had a skating lesson in the afternoon. My kiddo did far better this time than she did the last time she went skating, like behavior-wise. So I have to make the difficult decision as a parent. Do I pull back this next session and not do as much skating, even though she loves it and hopes that it'll make her kind of like pine for what she doesn't have? Um, love. Yeah. But then I'm also like, if that doesn't work, I don't, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't know what the right thing to do is, and I'm not sure that I will know if what we did was right or not, but um, we need to make that decision, like, in the next couple days, because we have to sign her up for the next session, um, but I tried to encourage her. Um, I got a new rewards jar. We'll see how that works out, but I let her wear a brand new ice skating dress to practice. That seemed to really make a huge difference for her. And then afterwards, we were like, we're going to go to a hella early dinner at Red Lobster because we're not that far away. And who else is going to dinner at 4.45? Um, joke's on us because <laughs> we walked in and there must have been 30 people in the waiting room. And I, an hour and a half wait. I was like, I'm out. <laughs> like, yeah, I, 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 so we left and that's fine. I don't need to have my Red Lobster at 4.45. I just thought it would be nice. She really wanted crab. Um, and there's a crab place right by the skating rink, but I didn't want to, I've said this before, like, I love getting crab with my kiddo, but I don't love the experience of it, because then I don't really get to, like, sit and enjoy eating, because I'm constantly, like, taking the crab apart for her. And I know, I could just teach her how to do it, um... But then it's constantly, Mommy, I need help. Mommy, I need help. Mommy, can you do this? Mommy, I'm hungry. Mommy, I want more. Mommy, I want the crab on your plate. Mommy, 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 mommy. Daddy doesn't eat crab. And um, nor does Daddy, like, do all of the muscle work. And that's why he doesn't eat crabs. He loves crab meat, but he doesn't love the effort. Um, and I do, but not when I'm doing it for two people. Because, like, literally, like, she'll just grab it right off my plate as soon as I get it out of the shell. I'm like, damn, girl, that was, that was supposed to be mommy's bite. Um, trying to adjust this here. But anyway, next day was Saturday. We took our kiddo to this bird <laughs> event at um, a greenhouse. A place that sells plants. I don't know what they're called. I'm spacing on the word. Nursery. Nursery, thank you. Um... And it was this super cute event, and they made binoculars out of, like, toilet paper rolls, basically. And um, they gave them a little coloring book, and they made little bird feeders out of Cheerios and blueberries and pipe cleaners that you could just hang on your tree. Um, our kiddo, I know I mentioned it earlier, like, she is a bird lover. Um, ducks are her number one, which she actually got to see some ducks today. But she... Like, ducks, she loves flamingos, but ducks are definitely, like, her number one. But for her to, like, learn about local birds, she was very, very excited. And um, 
It was a totally free event. We had a, a really nice time. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was really well run. And it was, um, I'm sure it was coincidental, but it was run by a bunch of, like, older women. And they all gave, like, warm granny kind of vibes. And every single one of them seemed excited by every little kid that was there. And it was just a really good time. And she was super, super appreciative and loved every minute of it. And then she was like, I want to go see more birds. <laughs> you know, I'm like, okay. Um, so we do live near a zoo. It's not a great zoo. It's actually like the worst zoo I've ever been to. But um, it's attached to Hershey Park. So if you have like a Hershey Park pass, which I don't anymore, um, it's free entry. But my daughter loves their zoo camp program. So she could probably tell me what birds are in the zoo if I just asked her. Um, but... I think that might be a good place to end. Oh, I am at the hour mark. Um, if you guys made it all the way to the end, leave me some sort of bird emoji. If you guys enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more videos like this or nothing like this at all, please make sure to give this video two thumbs up. One real life, one virtual. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Come join the Sparkle Squad. And while you're there, hit that notification bell. Yay. I do not operate on any sort of schedule. I operate on toddler standard time and I record my tiny human is sleeping or sleeping. Thank you guys so much for being here. I'll see you on my next one. Bye, guys.